Do you want to speed up your editing process and have the time? If so, try this DaVinci Resolve editing pack and start watching your editing speed and seconds. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing this graphics pack that's called Toko Graphics 4.0. So the creator of Toko Graphics 4.0 is called Motion Can, and the reason why I'm showcasing this graphics pack is because I honestly use it and why should I be the only one using it if you guys could use it as well. So some things that this graphics pack include is full auto resize for all animations, easy customization of the animation which includes auto box and smart interface. In this package you could also find about 600 sound effects and what's the most important it's easy to install so you could use this for both windows and mac i honestly use it for both now let's say that you guys want to purchase this graphics pack the only thing that you guys have to do is click the link in the description and it's going to take you to the main page to install this as of right now this graphics pack is going for 69 us dollars but i'm telling you it's worth it so like i mentioned this graphics pack has around 600 sound effects and in order to use them in DaVinci Resolve, you could go to our cut tab right here and on import media folder, we want to click on it. We want to look for our Toko Graphics 4.0 for DaVinci Resolve. This is where you have installed your graphics pack. So you want to click on it, this as well. And on um, extra materials that should be on number three, we have our sound effects. So all you guys have to do is click this and select into folder. Now we could also do the same thing, but for our uh, glitch effects, same thing, select folder and here you go. So now if we go to our edit tab right here on our timeline, we could go to our um, sound effects and we have a whole bunch. We have bubbles, data, switches, click, fast, glitch. And there's also a lot of categories, not only one section of glitch sound effects, we have TV, cinematic, and everything like that. So an example would be this one, right? Or this one. <laughs> I just love using these sound effects. And I actually use these sound effects for my videos. Now, why do I like this graphics pack? And why would I recommend it to you guys? Two simple words. Fully customizable. That's right. So if we go to our effects tab and click on toolbox, right here, we are going to look for our toggle graphics in the video transition. So we want to click on this and click on this. So Toko Transitions has three kinds of transitions. You have our flat transition, camera transition, and overlay transition. So in order to see this, we wanna just split this clip in half and our flat transitions, we could just use this one right here. If we zoom in a little bit, we could go ahead and stretch this if we need to. And a flat transition is going to look something like this. Like I mentioned, fully customizable. So let's say you guys don't like this color combination. What you guys could do is change the colors that you guys want. Let's say we are more of a red with white type of person. We, we click on this and there you go. And we have our camera transitions. So let's say we want to use this zoom out 2x. It's going to look something like this. Now, of course, your overlay transitions are going to be for your overlay. So let's say we want to use this clip as the overlay. It's not going to show anything because it's like the same clip. But if we go like this, <laughs> there you go. So not only this graphics pack has transition, it also has, let's call it animations. So right here, if we go to our titles and on Toko Graphics 4.0, we see 20 different categories that you guys could use. Some of these are including backgrounds, social media, callouts, infographics, text message, and devices. So I want to be showcasing some categories, not all, so you guys could take a look at this and enjoy it. But social media, I honestly love because for vlogging it's so useful. Let's say your client or even you are doing for vlogging and you want to show where you are. You could easily go right here. Let's say you're in California, California. Put this in the corner and boom, you know, let's say you're more of a what blue type of person. So you could go blue right here and there you go. You just change this to blue. 
And it also has uh, your social media. So we have right here Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter right back then, which is X. Facebook, if you want to shout out your Facebook. New post similar to IG. Um, if you want to make your pool, how was your day? And just different kind of stuff. So let's say you want to customize this, right? So this one is, what city do you live in? So right here, let's say, what what day is it today and i'm recording this on a monday so monday now you could also change the font so you guys don't have to use this exact font or neither this exact color so let's say you're more of a baby blue person right here so we could click on this baby blue uh this is for the text we could also click this to black text black gradient as well this is for the box so like i said you could just fully customize it however you want and just to repeat it has so many categories interface items gradients so let's say in infographics and we click on play it's like a percentage loading screen now let's say you don't want 82 percent let's say you want a other number we could do this we could go click on 40 percent and automatically this bar is going to load so same thing let's say we want this 100% the bar does it for you and you could change like the glow opacity so let's say you don't want so much glow let's say you do the background you can make this transparent or you guys don't now you guys could do so much with only this category here the infographics not counting text messages for either android or ios or our devices our mockups so the mockups are gonna look something like this i haven't used the mockups because i don't really need to but like i said all of this is fully customizable whatever you guys want you guys could even put some footage right here I'm, I might use this for the future. Now let's say you go to into titles or any other category and one of the titles don't want to load for some reason. So for example, this one, once again, so you, let's change to Tahoma, Tahoma and Tahoma. And there you go. So that's like uh, the best way to resolve this. You guys don't have to use the exact font that it has. You guys could change it. And that's the one thing that I like about this. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to purchase this graphics pack, the link is going to be in the description of this video. And as of right now, it's $69, but it's only a one-time payment. It's no subscription or anything. So once you purchase it, you purchase it and you guys don't have to worry about it again. I would highly recommend it. I use it myself and I've been highly satisfied. And if you guys have any questions about these graphics packs, you can just leave them down in the comments. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button. And see you guys later. Take it easy.